My name is John Pfeiffer. I work with SVT. I'm a senior engineer in vehicle engineering. And it's my job to take the great work that the chassis, the powertrain, and the body teams do and integrate that to make a car that has supercar performance. Today what we're going to talk about is the driveline and aerodynamic improvements done to the 2013 GT500. The overall systems here, which are the driveline and the aerodynamic parts on the front end of the Shelby GT500, are the key enablers to go 200 miles an hour. The driveline at those speeds is spinning very fast. Uh, and the aerodynamic loads are very large on the, on the vehicle. These parts are all unique to the GT500. These parts were designed with the intent of coming into the Shelby GT500 and the application of the torque and performance that this car is expected to deliver. The first systems that we were looking at were the clutch pressure plate and the shifting systems. The ability to transmit the torque from the engine to the road. The clutch was revised to improve the drivability and the ability to handle the torque and the shift feel. So first off with the clutch disc and the pressure plate, the clutch disc for 2013 was increased 10 millimeters to 260 millimeters and the friction material was revised to handle the heat and the torque and the speeds necessary to go 200 miles an hour and apply over 600 foot-pounds of torque. This is our shift linkage on the GT500. For 2013, We've revised the ratios, which is the geometry of the shift lever, as well as the bushings to improve the feel. And the critical aspect on the shifter and the clutch system being that those are the two components that the customer feels every day and all the time when they're driving, so that there's a balance between the clutch pedal effort and the shifter feel. So you're very connected to the road and feel like you're integrated with the car. In addition to the shifter and the clutch discs, the system here, the spring and the master cylinder, the geometry and the shape of those parts are tuned to manage the feel. This part, number six, is our one-piece carbon fiber drive shaft that's unique to the GT500. This drive shaft was uh, highly engineered to handle the high speed capability of the car. The critical characteristics for the customer is that the drive shaft is smooth and transmits power uniformly. The light weight contributes twofold. It lowers the weight of the vehicle as well as the inertia weight, which allows the drive line to spin up. One challenge on a carbon fiber drive shaft is the interface to the transmission or the axle side. So you usually have a metal yoke. And what we've done unique on this vehicle is we machine the splines and we press into the carbon fiber drive shaft. There's no adhesives. That bond is amazingly strong and can handle all the torque and all the heat you can throw at it. The front fascia on the Shelby GT500 uh, has a lot of engineering in it. The engineering was done to improve the drag and the balance of the vehicle at high speed. The drag reduction allows us to achieve high speeds by reducing the amount of energy that's wasted in pushing the wind out of the way. It also helps uh, improve the fuel economy. It gives us our class leading fuel economy of 15 city and 24 highway without a gas guzzler tax. In addition to lowering the drag, the aerodynamic improvements also reduce lift and improve downforce on the vehicle, which gives you your stability at high speed. The critical thing on the grills of this vehicle is that we manage the airflow, that it goes in to the heat exchangers and leaves the heat exchangers in the manner that we want it to do. Having the ceiling on the heat exchangers, uh, the radiator, the intercooler, the oil cooler, and the transmission cooler gets the airflow through the system to get the heat out of the engine compartment and allows you to maintain those 200 miles per hour and the speeds that you want to achieve at the track. The Shelby GT500 comes in three configurations. The standard car is the GT500, which has the limited slip uh, rear differential and the 331 final drive and all the packages have the same 662 horsepower. Then there's the performance package which steps up to the torsion differential which gives you the ability to transit the torque side to side uh, more for a racetrack scenario and then there's the track package which adds the coolers. It adds the transmission cooler, the engine cooler 
and the differential cooler. Uh, the most surprising thing when I first drove it was how fast it was without realizing how fast you were going. The perception of speed is, is amazing.